everyone. First of all, thank you for 700 subscribers. Secondly, welcome to the continuation of the analog horror tutorial. Last time I taught you how to edit an analog horror video using Adobe Premiere Pro and how to create a custom thumbnail on Adobe Photoshop. This time I want to teach you how to create visual effects using Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. Before starting out, I want to specifically say that After Effects is not a video editing software, but a visual effects one. You can't edit an entire video on it, only a shot. This program is challenging and it's not a requirement for making an analog horror video, but you can extend your creativity with it. Alright, we are in After Effects. I know this may look a bit intimidating, but don't worry, you will get used to it. So, first of all, we need to create a new composition. So you are, you are going to press Ctrl N. Uh, choose the frame rate you are working with. I am working with 25 frames per second, because that's the cinematic standard, and that's with what I edit on Premiere Pro. So, yeah, click OK. And this is the composition you are going to work with. Before I'm going to import any clips, I want to show you how to create a solid. A solid is basically uh, an, an image, which is just a color, like a e color image. Uh, you choose the color you want. It can be anything from here. I'm going to make it uh, blue. And there you go, we have a solid. Now, since it's an image, we can transform it. And we have the same keyframes from uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. We, you, we can change the position, scale, rotation and opacity. So if you click on the stopwatch, you can animate them. It's like in Premiere Pro. Here, if you click on this button, you will, you can enable uh, motion blur. And if you also click on this check mark, then you, you are going to have motion blur. Okay, you can't really see it because the animation is kind of slow. So because of that, you can select the keyframes and move them in the timeline. So I'm going to make the animation a lot faster and you can notice that there is some motion blur. Motion blur can be very helpful if you are trying to create a cinematic scene. Also, you can uh, add a gradient ramp and with this you can create uh, a gradient similar to Photoshop and also Adobe Premiere Pro. You can also change uh, how the colors are being positioned. You can also use a four color gradient and you basically have four colors instead of two. Everything that you see on here can be keyframed or animated. What appears here can also appear down here and it's frankly the same thing that you see here. Other effects that I am also using in solar tapes is the circuit uh, background. And as you can see, it's the background for, for Humanitas Network. You can uh, change the colors however you want. I can make the highlights pink. <laughs> and the mid-tones red, or maybe. And over here you can change the evolution of the animation if you want to. Also, something very important for editing is the mask effect, which is also in Adobe Premiere Pro, but you also need to use it in After Effects, most likely. So you need to click on the pen tool, and you just draw the mask 
and it will be created automatically if you go over here you have the mask here and you can uh, animate you can animate to the feather or just change it without animating it really depends on what you want to do you can even animate the form of the mask by clicking on mask path and you can animate the form uh, if it if it does this then con then press on uh, press on shift press on shift and click and uh, you can move it like this and like that you can animate the form Another thing that you might need to use is a text To do that right click on the composition and click on text and Like that you can add text to your videos. I Don't use it that often, but sometimes I need to do it Here you can change the font The color style if we go to layer we can change the layer style and it's the same ones from Adobe Photoshop you can add bevel and both and other things which are the same ones from Adobe Photoshop now I will remove them because I want to work now with a, with an actual clip all right, I will drag this clip over here and I will import it into the composition. Now, when working with uh, clips and uh, generally with bigger projects, there is going to be a possibility that the After Effects will crash. Usually that happens when the project file is too big or for some other reason. So to prevent uh, crashing too often, I recommend changing the quality of the composition and you do that over here. Uh, full means basically 1080p if you film in 1080p, like in my case. So if you are going to let it like that, then it's going to crash most likely if you work on something huge. So I recommend to downgrade the quality to like third. So you can prevent uh, crashing. I know now it's looking pixelated, but trust me, it's better like that. So before starting to do some visual effects work on this clip, we're going to click on it, go to animation and then track camera. What track camera does it is basically analyzing the camera movement from this shot. After it's complete, you are going to see a ton of points over the entire click. Click somewhere where it's convenient, like here. Right click and uh, create solid and camera. And what you are going to notice is that this track solid it's actually moving at the same time with the camera and because of that it looks like uh, it's not moving. It's basically looking like it, it's staying there in, in that point and by using this we can put other effects and then parent them to this track solid so we can make any effects look like uh, they are no moving and they are staying there basically moving at the same time with the camera which creates the illusion that uh, it doesn't actually move now for your visual effects um, most of the most of the visual effects that uh, I'm having uh, in my computer, most of them are downloaded from the internet. The only way to find the effects is go to YouTube and then search for whatever you want, like explosion, black screen. I actually recommend black screen, not green screen. Um, you will see why. But I recommend searching for stuff like this on a black screen, especially when it comes to something that uh, that's uh, lightning, like explosions or fire, you know, black screen. 
For instance, you may want to use this clip. Um, select the link and copy it. Uh, create a new tab and search for YouTube to MP4. You can use this site. Uh, so be sure to select MP4. Paste, convert the clip and you can download it, download it in your computer assuming that you downloaded all the effects that you want to use now we can put them together in after effects so i'm going to search for uh, the explosion effects that i want to use i'm i'm using the, the action essential 2 uh, explosions so I'll drag them over here and i will double click on uh, here so i can select the if the effect that i want to use i want to use this one so i'll put the point here and then drag this over here and from the right so i can import only this section in the composition not the entire video which is much longer all right now we have it uh, now you are going to change the blending mode from uh, from normal to add and that's going to get rid of the darkest part of the clip and the black screen is removed and the effect actually looks more realistic like this now you are going to parent this uh, effect uh, to the track solid like this then you are going to click on this check mark to make it three-dimensional and now uh, it's doing the same thing as the track solid now you need to use the transform uh, feature to change the scale and the position and uh, the rotation you can also rotate from the rotation tool like this it's much easier to rotate it like this when you have uh, 3d images or clips now don't forget to hide the track solid because you don't want to have the track solid in the final video so you click on this so you can hide it and as you can see the explosion doesn't move it actually stays there All right, now we are going to use more effects to make the effect more realistic. I'm going to use uh, an image that uh, I have. I don't know where you can find it. I have this image, the image. You can put it like this. Uh, this time uh, we are going to change the blending mode to multiply to get rid of the white and you basically do the same thing you parent it to the track solid make it three-dimensional and change the transform uh, stuff like there like this uh, now you need to be careful to put the effect behind the fire and now we have the art image uh, look in there but uh, it's not complete because the damage appears before the explosion so for this you are going to keyframe the opacity so i'm going to click uh, on this keyframe and go back to where it should begin so we can animate the damage now i want to use even more damage i'm going to use a damage green screen animation this time because i also want to show you how to uh, uh, use green screen in after effects uh, uh, but at the moment it's the same process um, as you can see uh, you parent it to the track solely make it 3d now I'm going to show you how to green screen in After Effects. You go to Effects, Keying, Key Light 1.2. Uh, go to Screen Color, click on this, select the green, and that's basically it. You can change the screen gain a little bit. 
maybe even the blending mode to make it look a bit more realistic another effect that I also want to use is some fireworks uh, it's also a green screen clip because I don't know why I <laughs> I don't know why I have a green screen of this I have it a, a long time ago but you can also use a black screen I recommend black screen to be honest because it, it looks a much better when it's on black screen and you change the blending mode but you do the same thing you, you key the background and don't forget to change the blending mode and parent the clip to the track solid if you want to get uh, more sophisticated you can also use more effects to put them uh, over the firework like uh, I, I think a hue saturation you can put and uh, check on colorize and you can colorize the firework and I recommend making it uh, more orange now look at the explosion that we, we have got so far look at that I, I don't want to uh, do a playback because I'm afraid it might crash but something is going to look something like this and I think uh, it looks very cool now I want to show you how to use uh, optical flares so to do that uh, you are going to right click new create a new solid uh, you need to make uh, uh, you need to make this solid black and then change the blending mode on end uh, I want to say that uh, optical flares it's a plugin from video copilot so if you have after effects installed that doesn't mean that you also have the optical flares uh, in the software but uh, but what essentially is that is basically lights is they are lights and now if you go to options you can customize your uh, lens flare you have um, you can customize from here or you can go to custom where you have uh, more sophisticated effects uh, here or you can go to preset browser and use some uh, optical flares that uh, are all already made for you and you don't need to do anything to them so for this explosion i'm going to use uh, an air missile and i'm going to change the color to make it uh, more orange to fit for the explosion you can uh, adjust the, the brightness and the scale of the optical flares the brightness is going to make it more bright and the scale is going to make the light more bigger something very cool that you can do with optical flares you can adjust the flicker uh, if you change the speed and amount and maybe the random seed you uh, you can make the optical flare flicker a bit the same thing uh, I recommend uh, uh, animating the brightness to so it can make sense if you go to position you can uh, animate the position of the optical flares something that i need to do uh, over here because uh, because the camera from the original shot is moving all right now i want to add a second optical flare i can actually add the second optical flare on the same uh, black solid but for that i need to change the render mode to over original this flare i'm going to use it just to make the shot look more uh, spectacular so for that i'm going to use a cool flare i can put a cool flare outside of the composition 
uh, and do the same thing as before like uh, changing the flicker and the brightness all right after you finish editing the whole project click on the composition and press ctrl m go to best settings where you can um, choose how much you want to render from the shot from the composition i'm going to render uh, seven seconds from it go to lose less and go to format change it to quick time uh, eventually go to format options and choose uh, hashi 264 so you can render as, a, as an mp4 and uh, you can render it and now let's check out the final product Thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something new. If you want more tutorials like this one, please let me know in the comment sections down below. If you enjoyed watching this, please hit the like button, share this video and this channel and also please subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome videos like this one. Thank you and bye!